Hi guys, it's me Tiffany. So here is my lovely dragon fruit plant. This is my white dragon fruit plant. And I'm so excited because I was wondering if she was going to hold her fruit simply because the ants kept eating the buds. But you can see that this lovely plant has managed to almost fully ripen one, two, three, four fruits and then she actually flushed one more time i'm hoping that this one will come to fruition it's really late in the season so i don't know if i can get it ripened up before cold weather weather sets in but we're going to try so i've been kind of agonizing about when to pick these fruits and honestly this probably could stay on the tree another few days this was the first one to blush color but i'm gonna pick this today and here's the reason why i had noticed the bugs attacking this a long time ago and you can see there's bug damage here the bugs kind of ate here but it kind of calloused over the bugs ate over here let's look at the other side of this same fruit so here's the same fruit and you can see she's got bug damage right here she's got bug damage right here and there's bug damage down here i feel like i'm really pushing my luck with this one so i'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the plant now when you remove a dragon fruit theoretically it would be nice if when you kind of try to move this up and down this were looser but it's not and that's why i say it could stay on the plant a little longer However, um, I did bring me some clippers or secateurs, and I'm just going to cut this off. So I did this off camera, but you can see where I made a cut here. And I made a cut down below, and I can just pull this off the plant. And looking down below, I'm kind of glad I went ahead and clipped it off. I didn't know there was bug damage there at the stem as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this dragon fruit inside. I'm going to wash it off because if you remember, I have been sprinkling these fruits with diatomaceous earth. So it really needs to be washed off really well. And I'm actually going to put it in the refrigerator for about an hour because these are a little better when they're chilled. We'll weigh it and then we'll slice it open. Here it is, guys. I am so proud. This is like the first ripe dragon fruit that I have harvested in several years. It's been a long time coming. Okay guys, it's only been 30 minutes. I'm not gonna make it the hour. I'm like a kid waiting for Christmas and plus I'm hungry. So let's go ahead and slice this open. So here is our beautiful fruit. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, really doesn't smell like much of anything, but I'm gonna taste it now. It's pretty good. It's got a, it's not overly sweet, which is excellent. It's got a tanginess about it. I really like the tanginess. Um, I love the little crunchy seeds as well. Alrighty guys, so that is it. This is definitely a keeper. Um, it's, oh, I forgot to weigh it. Oh well, let me weigh it. <laughs> okay, so I know this is kind of pointless after the fact, but what I have remaining weighs um, about one pound. So this was probably about one and a quarter pound. Let's try with kilograms. So um, this is 476 grams. Sorry, I forgot to weigh it. I was just so excited and ready to eat it. But that's it, guys. I will keep you updated on the progress of my plants. I thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.